Right, so most of my fishing is very short sessions. We're talking like three or four hours. So in those sessions, we'll make the most of it. So my priority is definitely finding the fish and then finding the best way to catch them. So for me, it's very visual. So it's either floater fishing or margin fishing and stalking. Uh, my favorite way is obviously floater fishing because you can see exactly what you're catching. I can try and pick the big ones out and that's the way I do it. Uh, my margin fishing is normally prepping spots. So I turn up at a lake, do a quick lap, prep on all little edges, and then I'll do another lap, finding the fish, if they're feeding, and catch them that way. Uh, my favorite little tool that I use is obviously a baiting spoon. So I'm using this to prep the spots to make sure I keep my spots small. So I'm not throwing it in by hand and making a big area. I use a baiting spoon to keep the spots really, really small. And then they're not going to get too obvious and people aren't going to jump on my back. So this little bit here is a very clever, not clever, but it's a new thing I do. So when we're baiting up against snags and trees, we take the float off, we put our little weight on and this will actually sink my spoon. So I can put it next to my snag just tip it slightly, get some water in it, and it will sink to the bottom. And then I can use the bottom of the spoon to feel what I'm fishing on. So it's silt and gravel, and literally the vibrations will go up the pole, and I can just tuck it in an extra foot or two, and that's caught me so many fish, especially on lint chill. Absolutely brilliant little bit of kit. So rigs are pretty simple. So it's, I literally use IQ rigs were nearly 90% of my margin fishing because I know I'm fishing on gravel. Very short, two to three inches. But this is a nice little clever thing that I come up with. Similar to a hermit, but I want to be able to drop my rigs, drop the lead, sorry, in uh, weedy situations. So fish picks up the bait. That, that flies back, hooks itself. Nice and safe, lead drops off. Just being different. If you fish the same as everybody else, you're going to catch the same as everybody else. So you just want to be different. Another little product that I've been using, which has been uh, outstanding, especially when I'm using ASBO, and that's the Kalanis Hydro. The reaction that I get in the air is just it's unbelievable. So the night before I get my ASBO out, uh, defreeze it, add the glug, and also I add an ASBO stick mix. Then the next day it's all turned gooey and mushy. And like I say, when I put this in the edge using my spoon and my other visual stuff I do, it's absolutely amazing. Highly recommend that one.